this is Hidesh Malik you're watching me on Bollywood Life and today we have two very sweet guests with us Karan Jotwani and Tara Alisha Berry whom we are seeing and loving in Dice Media's uh, first season 6 hi guys welcome to the portal how are you doing i have been great thank you uh, i hope you are i trust i, I mean i trust you are doing to well yourself and uh, it's good to be on uh, your platform today and interact with uh, the audience and there's no audience here per se but then again eventually you'll get there but uh, Um, I think it's it's great to uh, be interacting with you after like a while. Tara, hi, I'm Gaur again. As Karan said, you guys have to meet before, but <laughs> we haven't. But uh, yeah, I'm me. really, really yes. <laughs> no, but uh, thank you for speaking with us today. Great, guys. Uh, जब से uh, series आई है, people are loving you guys as a couple. So I want to know what is the sweetest compliment you have received so far, and is there anything that touched your heart? I think uh, uh, I think I, I I did get. Uh, in fact, one of my friends, Anushri, from my ex job, in fact, sent me a message saying when she saw the trailer, she's like, you know what? Uh, she got really emotional seeing the trailer itself, and she's like, you guys look like you know you're happy to like act it because it, it seems like a very Like a very fluent uh, process of uh, how the entire series has gone through, and she was really keen on going through it, and she was coincidentally also expecting. So, oh, uh, we were over the moon with the entire uh, trailer, good. and uh, yeah, she was really after. Yeah, exactly. I mean, her first, you know. So, uh, I think that was something that she said that really touched my heart. But I believe uh, again, the audience for this particular series is is not. It's it's not for everybody. I would say it's it's an experience uh, that uh, a selective uh, uh, group of couples go through because usually it's a planned process, right? When you want a baby, and this is an accidental pregnancy, something that doesn't happen every day. I'm sure. So uh, it's a niche audience that uh, I believe uh, 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 is being targeted out here. Not targeted exactly, but then again, whoever has gone through the entire. Uh, Rigma role of going through something of this sort will definitely feel a little overwhelmed, and um, I, I believe that a lot of people uh, have been uh, have have been overwhelmed with uh, watching the show. And the few messages that I receive are definitely about how how cute a few episodes look, and um, uh, because this is not the typical college daily uh, uh, routine, you know, this is something much more, a little more mature compared. Right, to that. right. So um, uh, the kind of messages are definitely very sweet and very uh, uh, very. Uh, very kind, and at the same time, um, I think a lot of people are looking forward to the episodes ahead. So, fingers crossed. Nice, Tara. What about you? Uh, I think um, a friend of mine who is obsessed with K dramas and obsessed with like fantasy shows, she uh, told me the other day she came over and she said, you know, I I'm loving the series because it's so real, and I think. Um, The comments have also been, you know, there are certain people who commented who are not friends of ours who commented on the Dice Media page or on YouTube with their personal experiences, you know. And I think that that is very telling in how a show is reaching people's hearts. So I think that's the biggest compliment for me is when people are so moved by the series that they share something personal about them on social media. You know that really says something about what the series is uh, invoking in people. Because why would you do that unless you were really moved by something? And I myself have, you know, if I'm watching something and I really feel something, if I know someone from the team or if I can reach out on social media, I will and I'll say, you know, it really moved me in this way. And I think that is what more can you want as an actor, as someone putting some something a creative story out there. So I think that's been the like the biggest biggest compliment for me when people are sharing their own personal experiences, uh, you know, on a platform like an Instagram or a YouTube because they're so moved by what they're seeing. Okay, uh, so I know Karan as I said, and I know how fun loving he is, and I know what kind of musty he do on set and stuff. So I want to know what kind of funny <laughs> things happened while you guys guys were shooting it. Were there any pranks involved, and what are the things that you'll never forget? Basically, <laughs> the shooting experience. Oh uh, yeah, there weren't many pranks involved. Honestly, there weren't any pranks <laughs> because uh, uh, there was. Time is up. 
टाइम ही नहीं था पहली बात तो और अफकोर्स कोविड की वजह से शायद से वो थोड़ा सा दिमाग में भी चल रहा था कि ज्यादा इंटरेक्ट नहीं करेंगे सबके साथ लाइक इन पर्सन आई बिलीव तो वो नहीं हो पाया लेकिन उसके साथ साथ आई थिंक दर द टीम मेड इट फील लाइक अ ब्रीज यू नो द एंटायर प्रोसीजर ऑफ फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द रीडिंग्स टू बीइंग ऑन सेट एंड देन द मार्केटिंग शूट एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट सो आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ दैट वाज यू नो इट इट वाज अ वेरी इट वाज वेरी यू नो लाइक अ लाइक अ नॉन मैकेनिकल कोलैबोरेशन एंड इट इट लेड टू लाइक अ वेरी गुड वाइब ऑन सेट अ लॉट ऑफ पॉजिटिविटी एंड uh what what came out was uh, was a lot of fluency in the way we did our scene so you know so there was a very interactive uh, it was a very interactive medium on set with uh, with exchange of ideas and and creative thoughts uh which was which was great because of course also we had to keep in mind that uh, the, the concept of the show was very uh, was very uh, uh, i wouldn't call it very sensitive but of course a little more delicate compared to other concepts Uh, and uh, the emotion of the scenes and all that, and honestly, we had less time to complete a lot, uh, like, mm-hmm. like you know, like Tara said. So, uh, I think the uh, main focus was definitely on uh, giving it the best because uh, uh, with with OTT, I believe since I come from a TV background, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's like a one-time investment on TV. You can definitely go back and redo a scene, but with regards to this, you have to uh, time and again, you have to like be. Uh, Uh, on your A game since the onset of it. Dude, I like I just need a I just need an answer here. But I feel that in OTT you get more liberation while you were shooting, right? Because in TV, I think when you are shooting, you have to finish a certain amount of chunk in very very less time. So did you correct, feel that correct. here you got less no, time? No, but overall also it came with the overall also you come with the schedule, right? The production has a definite uh, framework in mind about these many scenes have to be shot in this much time. and all of that so mm-hmm. sometimes when we were getting a little draggy with a few scenes because you giving more time for that we had to also uh, not hurry i would say but like do those scenes a little more faster compared to so that the schedule wraps because they see it eventually comes down to a schedule right so the okay. schedule has to wrap because nobody wants to get into a situation of uh, you know like a loss or a situation of uh, like an extended uh, schedule and stuff like that unless mm-hmm. it's like a uh, like you know like a very uh like a like an unfortunate situation that arises but thankfully nothing of that sort happened but also technically we were i mean at least for me and i'm sure for tara as well it was the first time we were doing a series that was only for a minute right you know we have to compile all our emotions within a minute so the focus was also essentially on that because uh like you like tv may be do 20 minutes per day bro like you know and over here it's like doing one minute of a scene right uh, and an episode actually so that was technically challenging but then again like i said the team was very supportive and uh, it felt like a breeze while doing it uh, so also like a first time for me with a series like this with a concept like this uh, with technicalities like these and uh, yeah i think it it came out just just really well yeah and that's completely evident tara you need to tell me some instances because karan jotwani didn't like actually gave me some juicy instances so you need to tell me that some instances um kya bolu main abhi i'll tell you about something very sweet which i think we'll all uh, you know take forward with us uh, forever uh our for our second ad firstly um yash uh, you know he uh was he made the entire experience really really special for everyone firstly okay. on everyone's script in the morning and everybody's whether it was the director dop you know us or whatever he would write a personal note to you wow. every morning ha huh? uh and you started off your day only with this zero boost of positivity and then on the last day when we did our last shot he told everyone listen you know when you're going back like when you're wrapping up and going home just look to your right and uh, he had put up Like he'd made, he'd written personal notes to every single department. Wow! Uh, and stuck it on like personal notes to every single person. He didn't miss anybody, and wrote and created this entire like you know wall of wishes and uh, gratitude, uh, which was just amazing because I've never experienced that. Like I've never, of course, you know, you feel emotional. You you. in certain projects you feel like oh my god what am i going to do when this ends and things like that that does happen but nobody ever spends like this much time you know 
uh, spending so much effort and time to do something like this with the whole team and this is the talking about the second ad who probably didn't sleep for those 5 days at least right. you know because yeah hum to pack up karke ghar ja ke so jate but for the technical teams uh, it's not like that yeah for the crew it's not like that they have to still work after we gone home and slept also so <laughs> that. so yeah so that was something wonderful so big shout out to yash because he really you know made everybody feel very very loved and very very uh, good inside so sweet of you yeah so sweet of you to mention this uh with that best of luck for dice media's uh, first season 6 and i think it's already going great and people are loving you guys as ankur and pakhi uh good luck with the show and uh, let's soon get connected again thank you guys for being a part of this conversation thanks for your time please stay safe and warm regards to your family take care man thank you so much and same to you